everybody, welcome to another Q&A here on Jessica Smith TV. Today's topic is how to get rid of cellulite. So, so many of you write me and ask me questions about the best way of getting rid of cellulite, if there's any exercises you can do to get rid of it. So let's talk about this topic. I have some notes here to go over, so I wanna make sure I get everything out in this video. So first and foremost, let's talk about what cellulite is. It sounds like this crazy, fancy term. Well, cellulite is simply just fat beneath the skin, which has a bumpy appearance because it's pushing up against your connective tissue, which causes the skin above it to pucker. Don't you love it? So let's next talk about some of the top myths out there about cellulite. So three myths about cellulite that I want to clear up with you are, myth number one, skinny people don't have cellulite. Wrong. It's estimated that 90% of women have some degree of cellulite, and that includes those amazing supermodels out there. Women are more likely to have it than men, mainly due to the differences in our hormones, body composition, and subcutaneous tissue structure. Say that 10 times fast. Tissue structure. Myth number two is that you can get rid of cellulite using a cream, a wrap, or other beauty treatments like massages or lasers or even suction treatments. This is also false. So while these kinds of treatments may help reduce the appearance of cellulite, the effect is really only temporary and usually pretty pricey. So my advice is to save your cash and invest in healthy foods and workouts that you enjoy and find flattering clothes that you really feel comfortable in. Life is way too short to sit on the sidelines because you feel self-conscious about a little cellulite. Myth number three, you can get rid of cellulite with specific exercises. Oh, how I wish this were true too. So Sharon Acosta actually wrote me on Facebook and she said, what would you say is the best exercise to minimize cellulite? Well, Sharon, I'm so sorry to tell you, but you can't spot reduce, which basically means lose fat in one specific area. So let's say you have cellulite on your thighs, doing a bunch of thigh exercises may not necessarily get rid of your cellulite. Now what you can do is build more muscle in certain areas of your body. So that's different than spot reduce. Reduction. So strengthening the thighs, for example, with lower body workouts can help you build more lean muscle mass in your thigh area, but it may not necessarily reduce your cellulite if your overall body fat composition hasn't changed, if you're genetically predispositioned to cellulite, or even if you're a certain age because skin gradually loses its elasticity over time as we get older, which makes cellulite appear more prominent. Don't you just love getting older? So instead of just trying to target your cellulite hot spots, why not focus on reducing your overall body fat with a balanced self-care regimen? So what I recommend is finding a routine that really includes strength training, which is really more important as we age, again, because we naturally begin to lose muscle mass. You also wanna do cardio exercise, practice stress relieving techniques, get plenty of sleep, and of course, eat a healthy diet. And it's also important to note that even if you're doing everything perfectly right, you may still experience some cellulite. I have it too. And even the amazing and super fit and strong celebrity trainer, Jillian Michaels, has admitted that she too has cellulite. So there you go. My final thoughts on reducing cellulite, focus on taking care of your body from the inside out. It's so easy to get caught up in the idea of having a perfect body, but instead we should be really focusing on all the amazing things that our bodies do for us every single day. You know, we often wait until we're dealing with some sort of major health crisis to appreciate what we had. Don't let that happen to you. Look at your body and appreciate your body for all the amazing things it does for you every single day, not just how you look in a bathing suit. Exercise and fuel your body right, because at the end of the day, a healthy, strong, and energetic body is what matters most. In the big picture, a little cellulite isn't that big of a deal. Thanks so much for tuning in, guys, for this Q&A session. Please be sure to leave me a comment below. Let me know your thoughts. Have you found something that's helped reduce cellulite for you? Let us know about it. And if you have a question for me, be sure to leave it in the comments below so I can answer it for you in an upcoming Q&A Wednesday. Any notes to add, Peanut? I think that's all. Thanks for remembering to subscribe and share your favorite videos, and we'll see you next week.